What's going on guys everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking the channel. I appreciate it. If you guys are gonna make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would appreciate it, guys. Come on, let's spread the channel out. Let's get let's get more people to show love to the channel. Let's get more people to rock out with us on the Patreon page as well. Daily sports prediction. You know what to do. Click the link down below. We have the NBA playoffs. We got baseball we do every day, man. Come support the movement. I appreciate it. Appreciate anybody that subscribed to the channel as well. We're close to 5,000 subscribers. Keep supporting the work. I'm going to keep putting out the knowledge so we can help wake people up about all these rigged and scripted sporting games. Yes, we're talking about the Lakers defeat the Grizzlies in six games and they're advancing to the semifinals. Yes, they beat the Grizzlies in their advance. I'm going to explain why we like this series to end in six games before it even started. I'm going to tell you why right now. Here is my here is my series notes from April 10th as you see right here right here I said I would also take the Lakers versus Grizzlies series to end in 6 games plus 180 also we gave out this Lakers plus 1 and a half spread Kings plus 2 and a half spread for a plus 106 parlay cash that cashed Lakers Grizzlies ended in exactly 6 games with plus 180 that cast gave you out two Parlays there for the series bet. This is what we do here. So for anybody that's hate or tried to deny what we do, you gotta wake up and realize what we do over here. We post, we gave these out. We said right here, boom, parlay plus one hundred six in the Lakers and Grizzlies series to end exactly six games plus one eighty. Nailed on the coffin. All right, check this out. Six games makes much sense. Grizzlies, if only won two in the series, would end their season on 53 wins, which they did because in Jamatria, Los Angeles equals 53. Lakers pick up their 47th win. They won the series. Memphis equals 47. Lakers now have 308 playoff losses. Memphis equals 38. Memphis coach, sorry, Memphis, they get... They stay on 38 playoff wins. Their coach is 38 years old. Memphis equals 38 versus the 38-year-old LeBron James. Grizzlies fell to 4-9 in the first round. Grizzlies equals 49. Lakers get it done, man. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Mockery. Ready for mockery? Look, the Lakers won by 40 points, okay? 85 to 125, 40 points. I think it was in game one or game two, Dylan Brooks, he was, you know, he was confronting the 38-year-old LeBron. 38-year-old LeBron as Memphis finishes the season on 38 playoff wins versus the 38-year-old LeBron with the 38-year-old coach. And you got Dylan Brooks, who's in, you know, who's being the heel in the character, saying, I don't respect nobody until they give me 40. And on the last game of the Grizzlies season, they lose by 40 points. It's mockery. Like, come on, people. Ready? Listen. Um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. Um, so, um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. They gave him 40. Look at this. The irony of the Lakers beating the Grizzlies by 40 to take the series after Dylan Brooks said he wouldn't respect LeBron until he gave him 40 is unreal. NBA script writers took their time with this one. It's just like, wow. LeBron also picked up his 40th playoff win as his team wins by 40. So, boom. If you look at the Grizzlies playoff record now, they stay on 38. Grizzlies playoff record. Look at that. 38 playoff wins when Memphis equals 38 versus the 38-year-old LeBron James. And their coach is 38 years old. It's right there, people. It's right there, man. And then uh, let's also play this back from my YouTube video two days ago. Gave this one out too as well. Coach, 38 years old. That could be where, that could be where they're versus 38-year-old LeBron. That could be where their season ends on 38 playoff wins. Grizzlies. There it is, guys. Lakers get it done in six. You know, Jam Ja Morant talking about, I'm fine in the West. You know what I mean? We'll find in the West. The only team we fear is the Celtics. And then he, he loses in the first round. Mockery, man. That's what they do. Mockery. But yeah, Lakers handle business as we predicted, man. They win it in six and they move on to the semifinals round. We'll see who they play next. And the only there's only two series on five six. Can you guess what team's playing on five? I'll tell you what teams are playing on five six. Miami Heat. 
are playing the Knicks on 5-6. Because Miami Heat and Dermatra equals 56. You want to know who else is going to be playing on 5-6? LeBron, the king. So King James will be playing on 5-6. On the same day that the king coronation is happening. We all should know about 5-6, man. Are, are they hinting at something there? Does LeBron play the Kings on 5-6? Or is he playing against Stephen Curry on 5-6? We'll see, man. The Kings on 5-6. That does make sense, but we'll see. Warriors' next playoff loss is 169. But we'll see what the, we'll see which way they go. But I was like, oh my. Look at that. Well, 169. But I was like, you got to ask yourself. Instead of having the Nuggets and Sun series on 5-6, they put the Lakers... Series on 5-6. So, man, we'll see what that means. But first round series in the book, man. We had a great first round. We only got like one or two series wrong. We nailed three series with their, the exact outcome that they're going to end in. Like what game? We knew the Hawks game was going to end in six. We liked that to go six. We had the Lakers winning in six. We had that series ending in six. That's what I should say. Um... We like the Heat to at least take three from the Bucks. We like the King series. Their spread. Um, we definitely like the Sixers to win. So yeah, appreciate everybody that tunes in, man. No doubt, another scripted ritual here with the Lakers beating the Grizzlies in the first round to send them home packing. I think this is all for this. I think this is all that I wanted to talk about. Anyways, I do appreciate everybody that tunes in. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, I um, already got my notes up for round two. They are on the Patreon page. So if you want them, if you want them right now, click the link down below. You can join us, or you can wait to the new month. Um, very reasonable. What we what we do over here, put in the work, put in the efforts. I will also provide some content to the YouTube as well. But appreciate you guys, and we're one step closer to nailing some more correct predictions. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.